everyone. Welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I am going to do a past life love reading and or connection. Mostly it's going to be about love, but um, if you have what you feel or suspect is a past life connection with somebody, we're going to just tap in with some, just some different oracles and see what comes up from spirit. I don't know so much that I have a layout. I don't have one prepared. Uh, I just want to kind of see what's going on. My Yimmy Yag reading for December was um, a lot about a huge energy, about a connection and confirmation of a past life um, relationship, a past life love. And we, I want to see what more may be coming up for us in the month of December in the way of this connection. So if that resonated for you, you might enjoy this reading. And we're just going to see what comes up from spirit for us. Just some um, just oracles. So let's just focus on the energy of that past life connection, past life love. What more spirit do we need to know? And that is going to occur for us in regards to this past life. Love. I'm just going to pull random cards and we're going to see. We have freedom. Soul freedom. Being yourself. Releasing ties from the past. Setting yourself free. So there's something about this that is going to bring you a sense of freedom. A sense of liberation. Um... <clears throat> soul freedom being yourself releasing ties from the past setting yourself free I'm going to see the book on this one it's number 29 <clears throat> so it can be something tied to this person or situation allows you to be yourself it says be yourself it's allowing you to set yourself free from the things in your life that maybe aren't allowing you to be yourself so there's something here with um releasing yourself and becoming more of yourself like releasing yourself from the past uh, versions of i feel it's like you, you like more than <clears throat> anything else 29 like how you used to be like it's helping you um Perhaps release past patterns that kept you stuck, which would then, of course, bring you freedom. And then my book is like all crazy jumbled up. I don't know if I can find the, like my booklet fell apart and I don't know. <clears throat> so I'm just going to read it intuitively. I feel like that connection is helping you um, let go of uh, your past ways and the way in the ways that it has kept you stuck. So, so, you know, fears, patterns of inferiority, anything like that that keeps you from soaring and living your life um, without fear. And, um, uh, yeah, this is going to be a good thing here. I can see it. They're all, like, messed up. I thought maybe I would just instantly come across it, but no. So I'm just going to read it as intuit intuitively like that. So that's one of the messages. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what spirit, darkness, and light is with us in this connection. Those probably. Um, <clears throat> soul freedom. It's allowing your soul self to shine through, right? For you to embody your soul self. And so the <clears throat> spirit of li the lion leader recognition and respect and i feel like it's helping you bring this out in yourself as well i am a leo so that's interesting um it's helping you become a leader of your own life you know taking control of your own life like the the, the emperor and you know respecting yourself bringing respect like when you respect yourself other people respect you so it's embodying that self-respect um, within as well. And that is in that sense of soul freedom um, coming up. Let me pull one more. What other spirit? And then she's wearing, she, the lion is wearing the crown. And I've had a lot of crown chakra uh, this year. Crown energy coming up too. So we have spirit of the key. 
Solution, wisdom, spiritual knowledge. And the undercurrent is clarity, awareness, truth. <clears throat> so it's going to bring you a clear awareness of your own truth. And you're going to gain that wisdom, that inner knowledge, um, spiritual knowledge of your soul self. That is that spiritual knowledge. And you're going to gain a lot of clarity through this connection to this person. Um, <clears throat> So let's see what, what I'm gonna ask what purpose or what this what this past life person in your life is the catalyst for this for you. What is their purpose in your life? Like moving forward, what is their future role in your life? We have inner child. What is their future purpose? Like what role will they play in your life? devotion and signs so they're going to be devoted to you and you're maybe seeing signs about that right now but they're going to continually point you and nudge you in the right direction too <clears throat> and there's going to be a playful connection a very devoted playful connection between the two of you and you're moving in that way right now i feel so let's pull some more uh, about what we need to know about this person in our life spirit what we need to know about this person in past life. Well, what we need to know about this person. And it is yes, that you can allow them in. It's yes. The answer to the question that you're... Yes is the answer to the question that you're seeking. So there's positive energy. You can let them in. I'm going to play one more. Something more we need to know about this person spirit. We have surrender. Release, change, focus. Turning things around. Ending of an error and inner knowledge. And we have that spiritual knowledge. So they're going to help you surrender too. And they're going to bring change. They're going to bring... The, um, they're going to be bringing a change... They may be helping you release something. They're going to be bringing a change, turning things around, helping you focus in another area through a change um, in your life. And let's get some. Because this was Jamaya's December reading, I wanted to connect with her and ask what more we need to know about this past life of love. Past life love. We have bubbles, second chances. So you're going to get, you may have more than one chance with this person and um, in this life, but because maybe something happened in a past life, this is the second chance to make it right. And we have hollowed out. So you may feel, um, you know, it kind of turned inside out. This may be getting out a lot of emotions, clearing things out. Like I said in the, in the first card about the past. Um, and whatnot coming up. So let's see what else that will come out. And it is intimacy. There's going to be um, intimacy in your connection as well. That was a lot. I'm not taking them. Um, what else do we need to know about this past life? The energy that we felt in December, and it is divine feminine receptive. Um, she wants us to be open to it and be open to the energy exchange. I'm going to pull one more, and we have approval. She has the seal of approval. There. So that's pretty interesting. Um, undercurrent is social gathering, so it may be a coming together. There may be a coming together. The top card was, um, or the card I saw that underneath there was the guarded. And when I saw it, I thought of Pisces. So 
that could be by Pisces time frame. There could be a coming together um, in this connection. But I was just curious because that December reading was really odd in the energy and like an like a re repetition of pulling up past life energy and vibration. And they just wanted to see what else, you know, came up for, um, you know, the energy connection. And, and it is, she's, her straight out and her message to us is for us, for the divine feminine to be receptive, divine feminine receive. So even if you're masculine, allow yourself to receive this energy exchange because it has the soul of approval. And it was uh, open the door um, as well. So allowing that person's energy in um, because I feel like they're going to be helping through a change, bringing a change in direction and helping you like free up your soul from past pain and you know maybe sense of loss or patterns that you um have gotten into that had kept you bound or stuck in your life and unable to move forward through fears and whatnot it's helping you this person's energy this connection this past life love um is helping you and remember the inner child is important so allowing play and fun and laughter is going to be important as well so hopefully everyone has enjoyed this um I'm gonna pull a timing for something that's uh, besides whatever happens in December. I'm gonna pull a timing card for something that may be important, um, and then I'm gonna do what angels working with this connection, and we're gonna close. So what is a, what is a timing for something important happening in this connection? Uh, to look for a time frame to look for for this connection. I feel it's this one, and we have winter. Bottom is April and next month so just like i said next month so i'm doing this on november 30th so by the end of december something is gonna like in her reading it said something was going to be coming um <clears throat> in regards to this connection and then in the winter to april so winter spring like winter to spring is going to be important but the winter season is going to hold an important um event or energy for the connection let's see what angel is coming with this connection angel is helping with this connection the angel is assisting with this connection we have archangel michael which i like to see um you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved so michael is helping protect this connection um the undercurrent is sensitivity Heniel. So this Heniel is a um, angel of the moon. So you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings, which I think December was saying something about that. And then Gabriel, which Gabriel would also be December too. Um, leadership is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. And we had the lion in the messages, um, leadership role. So... It can be it's time to communicate. Um, oh, and they're saying remember who you are. I feel there's, and that was what was in the reading. There was like a true remembering of each other um, on a soul level. And I feel like, you know, it can create sensitivities, of course, but you're very sensitive to that vibration because you know them from past life. And I feel like um, perhaps the both of you or someone is going to take leadership in speaking that truth or saying it, um, voicing it. Um, so there's going to be some sort of, you know, this talks about emotions, honor your feelings. So that could be conveyed, but you're, that remembering of who, who each other are is coming up again in here. Um, and so I'm going to pull some rainbow rain just as some other markers or, <laughs> I love it. I love it when they do that, right? When I, unconditional love and balance restored so i'm gonna put them back but that's right where i cut them down. so some other things to look for markers in our journey with this person um here is frozen and will thaw love the love between you is maybe frozen or feels frozen because you're uncertain maybe there's an uncertainty or not sure because we had the yes car open the yes card open the door and um be receptive and letting them in from you my eye Oh, the energy exchange and it, there is a soul of approval for this person um 
so it's coming up that way again. But let me just shuffle and <laughs> they're so funny. Emperor and love. Let me just see what maybe this other person's higher self wants to say or come through with right now. So if you are connecting to someone you suspect <laughs> or thinking is a past life connection and you want your own personal private reading, you can follow the link below and um, purchase that yourself um, if you want your own personal messages in regards to your unique situation or connection. I will put the information below as well. Um, but this is just for continuing on with December reading from Yumi Eye because it was very strongly in there that there is something with the energy. And we have Princess is coming up again. We had a Divine Feminine, and I feel like this one wanted to come with it. And we have Soulmate. So this was from their higher self, right? So they're saying, hey, Princess, you are my soulmate. Um, and I just want to see the top card is love, and the undercurrent here is quiet, calm. So I love... And the swan is also a representation of, you know, divine and spiritual love. And, yeah, so, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> so this is there. Um, and, you know, this swan is kind of interesting because it glides easily across the water, right? But then it's usually its little feet are under there paddling, you know, away to, to get it going. Um, so there's a sense of, like, this person may be seemingly quiet and calm. But in the undercurrent, they're like, you know, <laughs> there's movement and there's activity, right? So don't think that nothing's happening or occurring because it is or that they're not feeling anything because they are. But they're saying, Princess, you are my soulmate and I love you. And um, that is a just amazing messages from this person's higher self to you. Um, and yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed this. And as, remember what Yama Yai is a continuation from her reading. She is saying Divine Feminine. Um, open up and to the energy exchange because this is seal of approval. Um, and I thought that too with the yes card that came out so that you can open the door um, to this person and to their energy. But again, only if it resonates for you and you have a connection to this and was guided to this reading. So, and if you'd like your own personal one, you can, you can follow the um, information below. Angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love.